Hey guys, um, if you don't know this, um, the Cowboys have signed Flarry Allen Jr. Now, undrafted free agent, it's a couple days old, um, not, I haven't been able to do much with the draft, but the Cowboys got, um, a D-tackle, um, I like him a lot, he's really good, they also got a running back, uh, who had seven punt return or kick return touchdowns in his college career that's it's pretty good he can also play slot receiver so i'm looking out for him but cowboys have signed larry allen jr now larry allen is arguably the best offensive lineman of all time i love larry allen um i've actually talked to him on instagram before which Thank you, Larry Allen, but I think this is pretty cool. I think that um, he's going to know a lot because of Larry Allen Sr., his dad. Um, now, I think he came from Yale, so I'm not... Yale's not a big football school, so a lot of people didn't really watch many Yale football games because they're not known for school or for football. They're... A, smart school with a bunch of smart people not saying football players aren't smart because they are i'm saying that that's what they're known for they're not known for sports in general really i mean you know um but larry allen jr i think he's going to be a very intelligent player on the field now jerry jones did say that um connor williams who connor williams has gained so much weight over the summer uh winter it's unbelievable like I think it was 30 pounds of pure muscle. There you go. That's that's pretty impressive. I, I really can't wait to see that. And Jerry said that he might be playing as a tackle some. Instead of, or a guard instead of a tackle, one or the other. Because right now I think he's a guard, uh, ta uh, guard and he might go to tackle some in minicamp, see how that works out. I've been saying this for the past year since we drafted him. Put him in at tack, uh, whichever one he's not. I'm pretty sure he's a guard, so that would put him in at tackle. Move Lyle Collins back to guard. So much simpler. Everybody would be better on the line. And we got Travis Frederick, who's coming back. Now, I recently put a post on Instagram saying that, uh, giving everybody that the Cowboys got and lost, um, and got in the draft, and I gave us a B plus to an A minus, anywhere from that range. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because Dallas is not known for going out and getting big name free agents. Okay, Dallas is not known for drafting big name players. Hmm, Taco Charlton, who is he? I don't know who that is. Oh, but he's actually doing pretty good. Dak Prescott, who's who's that? I've never heard of him before. Best quarterback right now in the NFL. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Dak has won second most amount of games, I think. Um, great touchdown to interception rating. Um, never been injured before. Great with rushing the ball. And never had a big receiver until Amari Cooper. I wonder. Um, so, you know, we've never drafted big name guys except for like Zeke Elliott, you know, Des Bryant. We're more like Leighton Vander Esch. I don't. Okay. Cowboys got Leighton Vander Esch. Oh, a bunch of people. I'm going to admit, I didn't want Leighton Vander Esch. I didn't. But he, Leighton Vander Esch went out, proved me wrong. Okay. So I'm hoping that our guys in the draft, because. When we drafted that D tackle, not many people were like, "Yeah, let's go." That's exactly who I wanted. I was like, "I want Han Thornhill." He's still available. Can we get? No, we took someone. Okay, but I trust the front office, and I think that will do good. We locked up the D line. The D line is all set. We got another safety. We got a cornerback too, Chris Richard. It was his choice, not to take Juan Thornhill. It was his choice to take the D tackle. So I kind of got to say,
We're going to be okay. Um, we got Randall Cobb. That's a great receiver. Uh, Jason Witten's back. Um, we got another guard in the draft. So uh, we got Kerry Hyder. We got all kinds of great players. Christian Covington. Um, we re-signed him, I believe. So, I'm looking forward to this season. Um, you guys give me your thoughts on the draft and everything that's been going up. I'll see you guys later. I wish I could live stream, but peace off.